So welcome back to The Monk Hunter, and again, my apologies for so many posts at this time, but the tournament ends on the 28th, and I want everyone just to have their best shot at it and to follow along with some of what the top players are doing. So another skill right now to do is don't worry about the whole maps. Just start with one. This one I call the Cathedral. And what I'm doing is I'm trying to find out how many muggles are actually in this map. So I'm not too concerned about time, I am concerned about speed, but I'm trying to determine the best route through and where I'm going to get my maximum amount of kills. I really want to find 20, not allowing 6 seconds between each. I'm trying to find that route that gives that to me. I'm also trying to figure out how many guys are actually here. So I'm going to go through the whole map, playing with my route, time and time again, to find out how I can get my 20 in a row, minimum, without losing my 6 second intervals. As I move around, I'm also trying to determine where they're popping up. Because one thing about In Death Unchained, it's a game. And it uses random number generators. And when you land in certain places, it generates muggles. So what I did right off the top here, as you saw, I came straight through the middle. And as I came through, the muggles were starting to generate all around me. Now, if you get lucky and grab a Cupid or a Divine Sight, that's great. But whatever you get, again, work your way through and try and kill everything and see how many points you can get. So once you've done that and gone through the whole map and determined that you've pretty much killed every muggle, go back, watch your video, which you should record, and count how many muggles were actually in that particular map. Then you'll know when you're done. And check to see what your score is running through the map, not worrying a lot about time, but do move fast. And once you've done this whole map and gone through everywhere and kind of checked things out, come back and run through the map again and practice your run. Imagine your route and rerun it so you get used to running that route the next time you come in. And then at the end of the route, check your score. So try this a few times. Come into the map. Same map. Now if it's not starting in the same place, just go on to the next one because there's only so many maps. And run through it again and see if you can beat your previous score. And once you can do that, you start to know how many points you can actually make in each map based on how fast you're moving and, and how well you're playing. So what I'm going to do now, and this is what JJ did, he went through each and every map and determined the optimal route to give him the optimal kills in the optimal amount of time. Again, that's less than six seconds between each kill. So I'm going to pop down to the bottom here, do the same thing, see where everybody is, finish up the round, check my score, and then I'm also going to run through the map again without any muggles and try and determine and visualize and determine the perfect route. So one of the keys again to doing this tournament really well is finding your way through the game, finding the perfect routes, and then repeating them. Again, that executioner bonus is everything. And then once you have each map in your mind, how you're going to play it, you just come in and you play it. And I'm pretty much sure, <laughs> no guarantees, I'm pretty much sure that if you do this for at least a couple days, again, you have until the 28th, you're going to find your score skyrockets. All right, keep on keeping on. The funnest thing about this tournament is trying to learn ways. And the other reason I did this video is as a top 100 player and someone who posts a lot of content, this is what I do. I always come into these games and I try and figure out my way around them. And that's sort of how we end up scoring well. And uh, again, I'm not the best of the best, but certainly a capable player. And half the fun of this game is just making the discoveries that you do find as you play the game. It's not just about getting through Anakum and getting through Gabriel and getting to cycle 44. It's about testing your brain, testing your creativity, and finding new ways to play. So here I am, just running through the map, planning my strategy. There it is, the cathedral. So let's take a run, and I'm going to do what I think is the preferred path. And then the next time I come in, I'll try again and see if I can improve my score one more time. Thanks for watching, and keep on keeping on. Enjoy the tournament.